Yeah, yeah, there's the ice. It's sleeting. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Go. Go. Go potty. Brady's very in short and he's coming back in. <laughs> he went in. He went out, looked around, and came back in. <laughs> it's not fun out there, is it? <laughs> oh, he's looking. Oh, man, that's... Go, buddy, go! We've got our stuff all barricaded up again. And then, we've got hose covers on the hose, and we've got it covered all the way through there with lots of piping, so we actually have water. Come on, Brady! We actually have water today. And we're probably gonna have to stay home. Because <laughs> we can't drive in this. Okay, y'all be careful. It's slippery. I know you're gonna understand what I'm telling you. Seriously, though. There you go. Be, too, be careful. Nope, that didn't work. my finger in your syrup. <laughs> is this gonna back away? Yeah, that's fine. Does it, does it look good? It looks, it looks good. But minus the finger. Yes, minus the finger. I was so excited for you to get him. <laughs> it looked really good. Oh, mine might be burning. So I know, know, I know a lot of you guys were kind of making fun of us for the last, um, the last freeze because we can't handle this weather, but really one of the reasons why we live here and we choose to live here is because I like the weather in Texas. I like the warmth and I like the summertime and I like walking outside and not being able to breathe because it's a hundred degrees. Um, so we're not used to this. And now being in the RV, it's a little different because when we're cooped up inside, we are really cooped up. So we actually took the dogs next door um, and Matt and I are going to do an ab workout in our little space here and here. <laughs> Ready? So we're trying to do something. Because uh, I wouldn't mind going to the now, um, especially with how bad people drive. It's not us I'm worried about. It's I know. everybody I, else. I, it out. I think we can do it without really interacting with people, hopefully. <laughs> interacting by meeting so, Rex and have to talk to them. We'll see. But it's 2.30 and, and I need to do something. What else do you do? What do you guys do whenever you're snowed in or iced in or whatever you call this? When it's miserable and cold. What do you do? Netflix. Read. Can you do that all day? Hey puppies, come, come with us. Oh my gosh. It's all ice. Guys, I'm ready for <clears throat> Texas winter to be back. I don't like it. 
Hey guys, I want to show y'all our little drama queen Buzz Buzz. Every day, not just in the cold, don't let him fool you, he does this when he's hungry. And it's not just because we're out here. So it's like right around the same time, I say right around eight o'clock, we'll be inside and he starts that. And it sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like he's being punched. <laughs> Good morning guys so uh it's it got cold again as you we might have probably told you i think already uh you know and this is the second time that it's gotten this cold in texas this year so and, uh, we had a little bit of snow yesterday uh but overall it hasn't been bad like last time we yeah, we did freak out a little bit you know like what do we do this time it wasn't too bad we just wrapped uh the back end uh, of our of our trailer and didn't even empty any of the water lines we kept everything running it was so smooth. Of course, we also had propane this time, <laughs> so that helped. Uh, the propane, we also had a uh, little, what are they called, space heater. We had a pretty nice space heater. The space heater actually kept the propane heater from running because, you know, it just regulated the heat so well. So, uh, saved us a little bit of propane there. Overall, it was pretty easy. Uh, it stayed warm the whole time. The dogs were fine the whole time. You know, we had the concerns like, oh, if we leave, will, will everything explode? Not really though. I think that's probably what's going on in your head. <laughs> Always. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was this was easy. I, mean, I guess last time was easy too. It's just we just got over overly concerned. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like anything uh, new. It's, I mean, you read some stuff online. You read the horror stories online, and the time about I don't know. You read about somebody's pipes bursting and them having to replace them, or you then you realize that you know if you just if you're <laughs> it's just like driving in this weather. If you're smart about it you do your research and you do it carefully, you will be okay. Um, and that's that's what we've learned in the last year or so is just, I mean, you just kind of learn as you go. And the first time that we had the cold weather and it's like, well, I mean, you know, if, if something happens, both of our idea was it happens. You know, we've done what we can. It's gonna suck financially if we have to replace something, but it is what it is. You know, you can't worry about certain things and it's not gonna make it any better. But the thing that I don't like about this weather um, is that you can't go outside. <laughs> it's miserable. It's just miserable outside. It was all sleety and gross yesterday and everything was iced over. Um, and so we were in the RV as you guys saw for most of the day. And then by the end of the day, we were like, we have to go somewhere. Um, and so the gym actually opened up. So we drove to the gym just to get out. And I'm glad we did because I can't even imagine being cooped up for more than a few hours <laughs> because it's it's different being in an RV now it's it's completely different we went next door to Matt's parents just because we wanted to walk around um, you know it's RV life it's you're not meant to stay inside and that's kind of the point of living in such a small space it forces you to get out and do things outside of the comfort of your own little home and yesterday was just a good reminder of that would you agree yeah we ran out of things to watch on Netflix <laughs> Of course, we don't really want to be on Netflix too long anyway, so it's yeah. only like one or two things and we're done. Yeah. So. We but watched a movie or a show and about halfway through we were both getting really antsy. Like, I just need to move. Yeah. So, it's supposed to get back up into the 70s this weekend. High 60s. It's supposed to be nice, like Texas winter. That's that's yeah, my that's idea like of Texas, Texas winter. winters. 60s. That's, that's what I consider cool. Um... It's really nice, so I'm excited about that. We'll probably do some stuff outside this weekend just in celebration of it being warm again. So hopefully this is the last of the crazy freezes for us in this area. And I know that a bunch of you guys laugh at us because of how we react, but really it's just not, it's not our normal climate. We're not used to it. We don't, we don't really enjoy being in it for prolonged periods of time unless we take a vacation for the sole purpose of being in this weather. Uh, other than that, I don't, I don't want to be in it in my home, if that makes sense. Yeah, and it's 
the idea is like, oh, well, we can just get in the RV and run from it, you know? Uh, just keep going south. But we're pretty much south. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. So it's like, if it's cold here, there's the nowhere coast. to go. Florida even had their, their first snow, I guess, in a long time. That happened last week or two weeks ago. Can't run from this. Mm-mm. It's really bad up, up north, apparently. Like, well, I mean, I guess it's what somewhat what they're used to, but it's... Mm-hmm. I see it as bad. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Um, Friday, I might throw in a little Fitness Friday video in honor of being back on my bodybuilding prep. I'm, I was going to do an upper body workout and just kind of go through the workout with you guys and do a commentary and talk about the exercises and what, what I'm doing and what they're targeting. Um, so hopefully that will be helpful to some of you guys. Um, I know that a lot of you guys have some fitness and health goals for the new year so if you do have access to a gym uh, the exercises themselves are pretty simple but they do require the use of a gym um, but if there is a demand for at-home type stuff I can start doing that too I know the views aren't ever as high for the the workout videos but if just a few people find it helpful I think it's worth it uh, so yeah All right, time to put it in gear and get back to work I guess so yeah y'all have fun out there <laughs> Bye. we need more coffee <laughs>